Hi guys and welcome to part 38 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials. On the last two parts we completed our account controller by adding all the necessary methods and on this part we are going to add all the views so we can complete the authentication. To add the views for the account controller we first need to go to the views folder and inside this folder we create a new folder with the same name as our controller which is the account controller. And for each method of the account controller, like the login method, the register method, and the logout method, we are going to create views. So let's start by creating the login view. For that, we add a C -sharp HTML file. And the view is going to have the same name as the method, which in this case is the login.c sharp HTML. I'm going to get each of the views from the GitHub repository and provide a link down below on the description section for you to get them as well. So we see that on this form we have just a view where the user can enter the username and the password and these values are bound to the login view model. And the post request that we are going to make when we submit the form, it is going to be handled by the login method on the account controller. Let's now add the register view the same way we add the view item and we are going to name it register.csharphtml and as we see on this view the post request that we are going to make when we submit the form is going to be handled by the register method on the account controller. And the last view for this controller is going to be the logout view. And this view is going to be just an empty view. It is empty because it will simply redirect us to the home page. So when the user is logged in, we would like to show him the logout button. And when he is not logged in, we would like to show the login button. We are going to show these buttons on the navigation bar. So before we continue further, let us create another view, which is going to be a partial view. Inside the shared folder, we add a new view and we are going to name it login partial. I'm going to get the code from my GitHub repository and provide the link down below on the description section for you as well. What this code simply does is that by using the sign in manager class, it's going to check if the user is signed in or not. And when he is signed in, then we are going to display the log of button. And when he is not logged in, then we are going to display the register and login buttons. For this view to be rendered in our navigation bar, we need to go and make some changes on the file that actually has the navigation bar. So we go to the layout.csharphtml. We need to render the login partial view by writing await html.partial async the name of the partial view, which is the login partial. After we have made all the changes, save them and run the application to check if everything works fine. So we see that our application has run successfully. And since we are not logged in, we are going to see the register and the login buttons on the right of our navigation bar. So let's first register and then we can sign in. And in here we write an username and a password and we register. Now let's go and log in. Let's enter our credentials and we press the login button. We see that we have successfully signed in and on the right of our navigation bar, the log off button is going to be shown. Let's now log off. So we are log off successfully. And on the navigation bar, now we see the register and the login button. So this is all for this part. And on the next part, we are going to add the authorization, which means that we are not going to allow the user to do certain things in our application, like for example, adding a drink to the shopping cart without being signed in. This is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.